You have reached your destination 6310 Manor Woods Road. It is on your left. Is it closed for COVID? Oh, great. All right, so I guess, I uh, guess we hoof it from here. It's been two years since I was literally on that southbound train between the first two gigs of a three gig road show. Two years since Dylan's words rang true and glowed like burning coal, since George reminded me to be here now. Two years since I committed to ending my journey of dying, reprioritized the things in my life, and began a new journey of living. I did my best to put on a good face back then as I was making my way to Hollywood, Florida. But the truth was, I was in trouble. My average fasting glucose was approaching 400. I was having moments where lucidity was just not my friend. And within 24 hours, I would be at urgent care having broken out in hives yet again. After somehow surviving the next week and a half, I found myself back at home telling my wife that I'd bottomed out, but I'd had a revelation and was ready to refocus, slow down, pursue balance, and get back to living. And oh yeah, honey, I've decided to start riding again. So here we are two years later. My average fasting glucose is down to 113. I've not had a single battle with hives for two years. The constant grind of unhealthy stress is long gone. I'm productive and I'm happy. Did I accomplish all of that simply by getting back on a bike? <laughs> Hardly. It's taken a lot of work. Removing myself from an environment that was the source of oppressive stress, due in large part to having values and principles that were in some cases diametrically opposed to my own. Refusing incoming monkeys from the monkey people. In fact, letting them find other zookeepers to feed those things. Prioritizing my family and friends over others less deserving of my time and energy. It all played a major part in my turnaround. But getting back on a bike, that was a critical component of accomplishing all of that. It was a way to immediately help push away all the stress and bad mojo that I was dealing with on a daily basis. To experience the now in a way that only riding can provide to at least momentarily provide a counterbalance to the bullshit. Those that ride know full well the peace, calm, and focus that envelops you when you throw your leg over your bike, start up the engine, roll on the throttle, and glide down the road connected to the environment. There's nothing else like it. Even working on my bike provides a rewarding way to express my creativity while momentarily escaping the mundane or bad mojo and allowing for productive focus. Writing and starting my YouTube channel also allowed me to connect to some amazing people from across the globe. People I've forged friendships with, people who share the same interests, the same values, the same principles, the same challenges, and have the same appreciation for the benefits of wind therapy. 
I definitely could not have accomplished what I have in such a short amount of time without having gotten back on a bike. And to those of you who have followed along with my journey, I truly appreciate your interest and support. You have each played a part in what I've been able to accomplish. And the journey continues. They say real change does not happen for adults without experiencing some type of significant emotional event. One like I had two years ago on that train. But change takes work on a daily basis. So I'll keep working at it. Thanks for watching. Peace.